Welcome back to the Streamline Technologies Modeling Tips video series. In this video, I'll demonstrate modeling a slug load analysis for dry ponds in ICPR. A slug load analysis is a design technique in which pond nodes are assumed to be instantly filled to a predetermined treatment level. The engineer must determine if that initial volume can be drawn down back to the pond's normal water level within a stipulated time frame. Drawdown can occur through an orifice outfall or through percolation into the soils below. There are five simple steps to modeling a slug load analysis in a 1D ICPR model. First, we recommend that you create a clone of your design scenario in order to make the required edits to the node and percolation link input data. Next, set the pond initial stage to the top of the treatment volume to create that slug load. Step 3. If modeling a dry pond, you'll need to determine your review agency's criteria for initial soil conditions and make percolation link edits if necessary. We will cover both dry and saturated initial conditions in the examples coming up. Step 4. Pond recovery begins after all other inflows to the pond have stopped, including runoff from the drainage basin. So the last two steps are to create and execute a simulation that does not include rainfall. You can then review the pond stage results as a function of time. Our first example includes a pond located in a region where the review agency requires a saturated soil column at the start of the slug load analysis. This approach considers that the pond would stage up to the treatment volume elevation only after some initial percolation takes place and saturates the soils below. Recall that the layer thickness parameter defines the region where unsaturated vertical flow can occur, but in this case there is no unsaturated region in the soil column. Therefore, to establish the initial saturated conditions, the engineer should set the layer thickness equal to zero. This setting dictates ICPR to proceed directly to the horizontal flow computations, as you can see in the following animation. Switching to ICPR, I've already cloned my original design scenario in order to create a slug load scenario for each example. I've added background images to show a plan view of the pond design and images depicting a side view of the pond for illustration purposes. Let's start with the side view of the pond illustrating a saturated soil column. Now open the pond node data form to edit the initial stage to the treatment volume elevation. The percolation link also needs editing. Change the layer thickness to zero to begin with a saturated soil column below the pond. Open the simulation manager to create a slug load simulation and change the rainfall setting to no rainfall. Execute the simulation and open a quick chart to see that the pond draws down to the bottom elevation at approximately 24 hours. Example 2 includes a pond located in a region where the review agency allows a dry soil column assumption. In this case, the percolation link calculations begin with unsaturated vertical flow through the dry soil column. The engineer should enter a layer thickness equal to the pond bottom elevation minus the ambient water table elevation. This animation illustrates the pond drawdown beginning with unsaturated vertical flow. Once the wetting front reaches the ambient water table, you'll see the horizontal flow begin. Again, switching to ICPR, I'll toggle on the scenario for this second example and turn on a side view of the pond with a dry soil column. Open the node data form to edit the pond initial stage to the treatment volume elevation. No changes are needed for the percolation link. So I'll go ahead and create the slug load simulation and execute. Once it's complete, I can open a quick chart to see that the pond draws down to the bottom elevation at approximately 14 and a half hours. Finally, I'll create a printable report to show a comparison of the dry condition versus the saturated soil condition. To do this, I will add a node multi-scenario chart section to my custom report 
select the pond nodes and toggle on just the slug load simulations. This PDF report superimposes the two scenarios onto one stage hydrograph for us to compare the results. For a detailed example of a drawdown analysis for a wet detention pond, please refer to the wet pond design tutorial that can be found in our help menu here. Thanks for listening!